Eric Holcomb has signed a bill into law that aims to get more people into mental health facilities instead of jail. State House reporter Kristen Eskow shows us how it would work. Our typical runs where just a person refusing to leave or a domestic disturbance may involve someone who's experiencing a mental health crisis. Lieutenant Shane Foley says it's something his officers in Indianapolis often see. His department has a system in place to get some people connected to treatment, but inevitably others wind up in the Marion County Jail. About 40% of our uh, people in our custody suffer from some form of mental illness and about 60% of uh, people incarcerated today suffer from in some form of addiction. Colonel James Martin of the Marion County Sheriff's Office supports a new law that aims to get more of those people into treatment instead of jail. It helps improve access to emergency detention services for people in crisis. It also sets up a process for some people currently in jail to be transferred to a mental health facility. State Representative Greg Stewart-Wald authored the bipartisan law. We know this is going to be a long-term, a three or four year rollout uh, to be fully implemented. That's because the state has to be able to treat those in need. I think we have some capacity building to do. Stephanie Anderson is with Mental Health America of Indiana, which helped craft the legislation. The new state budget provides $10 million to create inpatient services for people in jail. She says it's still to be determined exactly what that will look like. In terms of facilities and who will operate it and how we can do it economically to make that happen. From the Indiana State House, I'm Kristen Eskow. The new state budget also includes another $100 million to strengthen Indiana's response to mental health emergencies. That includes funding for the 988 Crisis Lifeline and Community Mental Health Centers.